greet your neighbor, Shalom. shalom. Shake somebody and greet the person, shalom. shalom. You may be seated. Turn with me to the book of Revelation chapter 14. The book of Revelation chapter 14. Take note of verses 13. The book of Revelation, chapter 14, and let us read verses 13. Then I heard a voice from heaven saying, to me, right, blessed are the dead who die in the Lord from now on. If you are ready, To die to sin. You will be ready. To live for righteousness. If you are ready. To die to sin. You will be ready to die. To your past. Sin contains records of your unworthy past, which must be done away with. It is better to live spiritually. than to die spiritually. To be carnally minded is sin and death. While to be spiritually minded is peace and life. Your exit, your departure from this physical wicked world should be symbolic. Revelation chapter 14, verses 13. Then I heard a voice from heaven saying to me, Right, blessed are the dead who die in the Lord from now on. Yes, says the Spirit, that they may rest from their labors and their works follow them. Do you know that works of wickedness
always follow their possessors. Do you know that works of righteousness, your good deeds can always follow you. Let us read and hear again here. Then I heard a voice from heaven saying to me, Right, blessed are the dead who die in the Lord from now on. Yes, says the spirit that they may rest from their labors and their works follow them. You always carry along with you your character to the unseen world. If they're telling you stop lying and you say no, just for a short time later I will start telling the truth. You always carry along with you your character to the unseen world. You cannot plant A and desire to reap Z. As you plant A, you reap A. That is your kind of seed. Now, if you find yourself in the unseen world where you will spend your eternity, where you will not come back to this physical world, Will you be happy to live the life you're living here, over there? If you finally leave this physical world to where you stay forever, live forever, and be forever, Will you be happy to continue this kind of attitude or character over there? That is why repentance is a thing of now. Repentance is a thing of what? It's a thing of when? Now. It is for your own good. Don't say this minister of God is always speaking against sins and sinful desires. What is his business? It is for your own good. Look at the life of Prophet TV Joshua. What do you think he is doing now in heaven? What role do you think he is playing now? It is what you plant here in this physical world. You will reap over there where you spend your eternity. And look at the lives of people that are blinded by evil spirits not to see the good works of Prophet T.B. Joshua, and just figure out the kind of lives they will be living if they leave this physical world. Just figure it out. You are talking about evil spirits everywhere now. Remember they existed. If the nature you have is not of the spirit of God, it will be of evil spirits.
Life is too short to be lived by you working for Satan and his evil kingdoms. No, he's my wife. That is the cause of the business failure. You're not taking your own responsibility. No, it's my husband. Ever since I got married, this sickness started. Some will say, is this president? Is that secretary general? Some will say he's an ex-president. He caused this trouble, he caused that trouble. Some who will say is this tribe, that political party, or that region. Everyone seems to be pointing accusing fingers to someone else. Nobody wants to take up a responsibility. Or responsibilities. The life you're living now contains your works that will follow you when you leave this physical world. Write it down. Write it down. The life you are living now contains the works that will follow you when you leave this physical world. How many people did Jesus Christ blame? He did not even come to condemn the prophets and the law. He said, I did not come to condemn the prophets and the law, to destroy the prophets and the law. I came to fulfill. The life he lived became the works that followed him to where he is now. Consider the lives of the Pharisees and the teachers of the law. They were busy blaming everybody. Standing against innocent ministers and ministries. Criticizing others instead of doing what is right. And they did not live forever. No one will live forever in this physical world. Time is too short. Life is too short to be wasted or to be lived working for Satan and his evil kingdoms. It is not a sin to be married. And it is not also a sin for you to be married and live a good life. So you can have good works that will follow you to where you spend your eternity. It is not a sin for you to venture into a business or businesses. Just as it is not a sin for you to venture into a business or businesses with a righteous life. So you can have good works that will follow you to where you will spend your eternity. Do you know that a dead people cannot choose what to wear or how they can be made up? Put this one here. Put this style here. And these are things that are taking your mind off the real matter, which is where you will spend your eternity.
If you get to where you spend your eternity, the question will not be which political party do you come from? What flag do they bear or carry? Which tribe do you come from? What is the name of your continent? Which church do you worship? Which ministry did you worship? That would not be the question. As you're moving, your works will be moving along with you. There are only two places to go. The first place, heaven. And the other place is, is where? Hell. You cannot bear the works of hell. Works of Satan. You cannot have the works of Satan following you. And you would like to spend your eternity in heaven. It is not possible. By your fruit, you shall be what? Known. By the works, by the life you lived, you will be allowed to spend your eternity either with God in heaven or with Satan in hell. Blasphemy is one of the works of Satan. Evil suspicion is one of the works of Satan. Arrogance, lies, hatred, religious bigotry, wrong doctrines, these are works of Satan. Let it not be too late for people. To discover this when they are face to face with God. God can decide to invite any of his children back home anytime, any day, any moment. The things you are value now, like how many houses, properties, Positions in the world, whether the person is married or single, old or young, do not matter to God. His decision is final. And his time is unchangeable. The scripture says, seek first the kingdom of God. And his righteousness. And other things you're looking for will be added to you. Many parents hide and hate their children's teachers or school administrators. You see them fighting. And so many administrators also hate some particular children or child. You see them punishing the child anyhow. Even when the child is not guilty of the offense. These are works of Satan that will follow you to where you spend your eternity. This truth must be told now. Tomorrow might be too late. Coming to church and going back home with lies of sin. Or works of Unrighteousness is an abomination to God. Anytime you enter a ministry like this with lives of sin, 
you are expected to go back home with lives of holiness, purity, forgiveness. As you entered here, though you said, I will never forgive, you just said, no. Tomorrow might be too late for me. I have to let go now. Let me calm down. Church is not a place of offense, bitterness, anger, envy, jealousy, evil suspicion, gossip, or the like. Church is a place where you hear from God through his word and by his spirit. The truth that will set you free. Those who celebrated that Prophet T.B. Joshua is no longer alive. Check the ministry of Prophet T.B. Joshua and see what is happening. Expansion and expansion. You can see branch. You can see, you can see ministers of God operating with the mighty power of God. You can see crusades that shook the world. What do you have to say now? No one can destroy the works of God. Not even Satan and his evil agents. Those who jubilated, now the synagogue church of one nation will be closed. Where are you? How are you? Who is now a liar? Let's clap for them. <laughs> clap for them. I'm joining you to clap. Those terrible things are posted everywhere on your social media handles with an intention of pulling the members of the Synagogue Church of All Nations, taking all their partners, partners of Emmanuel TV, destroying everything about the ministry, didn't happen. Let's clap for you for trying. Though you tried and failed, we are clapping for you. How many of you are challenged to do what he has been doing in the area of healing? Deliverance, accurate words of prophecy to nations, time and date. How many of you we use this month as well to remember the very, very month? That the nature of God in human form, in the person of Prophet T.B. Joshua, was allowed by God to live on. Let's clap for Jesus for that. <laughs> From what you have seen so far, you can testify that his works... Also follow him. And his works still live on. Let's clap for Jesus for that. <clears throat> if you want to be part of this celebration, you must learn To appreciate the nature of God in the life of Prophet TV Joshua. If you are asking, where, where can we find the nature of God? Go to Galatians chapter 5 from verses 22 to 23. These are the 
undeniable fruit of the Spirit of God that are evident in the ministry of Prophet TV Joshua and in his life. If he say he never knew he was a good man before, where were you? Who blinded you? Who stopped you from knowing? Many people that never said anything good about him only started speaking when the man passed away, as they claimed. They say now the man passed away. They now came out to start saying, I know him. I had an encounter with him, one on one. Where were you? Where have you been? Even people that never lived with him are now coming up on social media handles. You see various pictures being displayed. Where were you? Are you posting all these things you are posting just to pull subscribers to yourself? Get views, monetize your channel, and get money. Repent. If you live with him, by your character, you will show the world that you have lived with him. Not by your zeal to make money. If you have lived with Prophet T.B. Joshua, and stayed with him under his ministry. By the fruit of the Spirit of God in you, you will let the world know that truly you have stayed with this man. Not by your posting. Not by the pictures you copied and pasted. Not by the videos you have brought together just to get views, monetize your channel or whatever, so that people will believe that you too lived with a man. Repent. I'm speaking to all of you. Repent. Where were you? The Bible says the disciples of Jesus we are called Christians because of the Christ-like character in them. The people in Corinth, the people of Corinthians, I mean the Corinthians said, these people are simply Christians, meaning Christ-like when they observed their behaviors. There are spiritual psychophants everywhere. Politicizing the things of the Spirit of God. Everyone is running. Having this and having that. Why can't you also run and fast the way he fasted? Why are you avoiding that? Repent. Everyone is running. He will do like this. You want to do like that. Go this place. You want to go that place. What about the spiritual lies? What about the main thing? Why are you avoiding them? Repent. Life is a product of holiness. Life should spring from God. God is the source. God is not fake. God is the real deal. Money has become the source of people's strength, 
Properties have become the source of people's strength. Fame has become the real deal to some people. I want to become as famous as this man, as popular as this man, as rich as this man. Let your life spring from God. God is holy and everyone must be holy. It is a must. God said, be ye holy just as I am what? Holy. Children of God are children of holiness. Servants of God are servants of holiness. Servants of holiness do not exalt money above God. You cannot serve God and mammon. Once again, life is too short to be lived working for Satan and his evil kingdoms. It is for your good that you endeavor, you make sure that you work for God in holiness and purity so you can have good works that will follow you when you leave this physical world. Anything that will stop you from having good works should be considered as enemies that are sent by Satan to destroy you. Rise up for prayers. We are having the memoria and we believe by the special grace of God. You will allow yourself to observe this memoria in God's own way. In Jesus Christ's name. Father, we thank you for the life of your great servant, Prophet TV Joshua, whom you have loved and caused to live for you and for you alone. We commit his ministry, the Synagogue Church of All Nations, Emmanuel TV, the leader of the Synagogue Church of All Nations, Pastor Mrs. Evelyn Joshua, all her wonderful children, the workers of the ministry, partners of Emmanuel TV, and all children of God all around the world into your hands. And we ask for your mercy, your favor, your grace or protection, blessings and breakthroughs to continue to rest upon her, upon the synagogue church of all nations, upon everyone who is partnering with Emmanuel TV, Upon the wife of your servant 
and upon his children, both now and forevermore. In the name of Jesus Christ.